road trip has now brought us to LeClaire, Iowa. And the home of LeClaire, Iowa is not just for the town next to the Mississippi, but it's for Mike and Frank. Yeah. The antique archaeology. Woo! Yeah. The pickers that started it all. We're here to pick the pickers. We're going to pick the pickers. So Don't wait to look around. Wait till we get in town. Yeah. It's all right. It's a time here. <laughs> I tell the, you what, this 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 whole area is beautiful up here. It really is. The rats are on the the rats are here, so they're gonna know. We're yeah, gonna, we we're gonna introduce the the pickers to the rats. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Let's uh let's see where this uh, all takes us. Okay. Hey folks, how you doing? Todd from the rats here, and you know where we're at today? Take a guess. Come on, take a guess where we're at. We are in Leclaire, Iowa, and we are here with antique archaeology. You see them on TV, American Pickers. We're here picking the pickers. At Pick least look around. Picking the pickers. <laughs> now, I mean, well, we got t-shirts. <laughs> you see them on TV, okay? This, this, this little compound here. When Renee was here last time, she, they had this one building over here. Did they get the picture of that? Yep, it was just the blue it was building. The blue building. Okay. Nine years ago, it was just this blue building. Okay. And now, look at beautiful up here. You watch the cell, you, you watch them build this. Yeah. And it's right on the Mississippi River. river. We're going to go down to the river. We'll yeah, show you that. I'll show you guys this. But look at this place. There's a car that you would see sitting out front. Here's the van that show on TV a lot. They're actually um, in town filming. Yep. So that's the actual van. Yep. They're actually in the town filming. Yep. yep. So we, we were inside both buildings. We'll show you the, the, the footage from it being inside there. Awesome place. It's now I can cool. tell you, um, and the kid inside uh, uh, confirmed it, okay, but see that building right there? Danielle lived on the top floor of that apartment. Yep. yep. Nine years ago, Danielle sold me a t-shirt inside this building. That's cool. And she lived right there. That's awesome. Yep. So, yeah, we did have a, a great time. I hope you enjoyed the video of walking around in the pickers. Yep. And, of course, we handed out our business cards. We did. Yeah. You know <laughs> We have to. Because, hey, you never know who's going to watch this. Exactly. Like this. Exactly. Back here. Do you remember back here? This this was, when this first started, this was like the wall of bikes. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember that. I, I didn't watch like the first year or so. Oh, in the first year or so, this was the wall of bikes. So every time they would come back, they would get a bike and they'd throw it back here. And they kept going higher and higher and higher and higher. So I have pictures of me here last time I was here nine years ago. And it was a wall of bikes. Yeah, it's cleaned out. Yeah, but um, that's one of the the, the rocket uh, cars they got from oh, the carnival. Ca that yes. Oh my gosh, Todd, you are so right. And your old sign too. Where did you get that from? Antique archaeology. Look at that. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, rocket cars. Of course, they have a chain to the wall. Somebody takes it. Yeah. That's part of the decor now. You know, you had to have something like that. It's cool. Wow. Very cool. All right. Well, we're going to go take, actually, if you can see the Mississippi River over there, we're actually going to take a walk to the river. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's go. This was a really awesome experience. We got to see the one in Nashville, Tennessee. Yes, and now we got to see this one, yeah, on our honeymoon. And now we're going to take another trip out here. We, didn't, we weren't YouTubers then. No. No. No, now we are. Maybe we'll have to make another trip. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys all have a nice day, and we'll check back in you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at these shirts. This is like their, uh, this is their um, retail store yep, yep. for um, merchandise. Plus some things they found along the way. Yeah, and there's things in between. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really?
remember that? No, I don't remember that one. Yes, when we got the turtle that, at that taxidermy place. It's a big turtle. Here's this black one at that one uh, place where father made the plaques. Yes. So we are at Antique Archaeology. Isn't this great? We're a little uh, starstruck. So I'm sure you all watch the show um, on the uh, History Channel. Look at this. Gone picking. <laughs> an old, old uh, chair here. Oh, it's seen better days, I'm sure. Yes, it has. It is totally... Look at... I like this, though. Look how they took the front of the grill and attached photos to it. I really like the way they mm -hmm. put that together. So are you guys recognizing a lot of the things that they get in the shows? Remember the house, the place they went to, the warehouse with the, all the globes? Yeah. Yeah. And look at, they must have put their own decal on it, yeah. antique archaeology, because yeah. they got all those glass globes for nuts. Yeah. They were blank. Yeah. Look at the pegasus. The shot glasses and all the other stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Talk about uh, definitely roached out. Uh, this is the one that they dug out of the ground. Remember the episode where they actually dug it out of somebody's yeah. yard? Yep, they dug it out of the yard. I, no, don't touch it. It's very fragile. That's it's cool. very fragile. Hmm. Very cool. Two lanes, less people, more life. Perfect. Exactly. So, this is what their shop looks like. Okay. Okay. Is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. cash register. Okay. All right, now we're going to turn the video off because we're going to go shopping, right? Here we are. We're going to shop. We're going to shop. <laughs> we'll show you more later on. Okay. Oh, they have more stuff over here yeah. to buy. Yes. Cool. Very cool. Hello. Hello. Okay, you remember mm -hmm. the Laurel and Hardy? I do. <laughs> I do. Yep. When they uh, put them on for Danielle's um, HR review, remember that? <laughs> and there's more of those plaques that they got at that one house, yeah. And there they are, there's the guys. 
Mike and Frank. But our favorite is Kid Pickers, how to turn junk into treasure. Well, we sure showed how to do that, didn't we? Yeah. Cool, let's walk into it. Now, when I came here nine years ago, this is the only building they had. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually got to meet Danielle. Did you? Yep, yeah, she worked here. Mm -hmm. Um, she wasn't like the biggest part of it as right. before, and she actually lived in the house right over there. Cool. See? Oh, you're shaking your head yes, right? <laughs> she lived in that house right over there. <laughs> Nine years ago. <laughs> yeah, something way long ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I bought my t-shirt from Danielle. Nine years ago. And saw Mike walking down the street, too. Yep, Mike was walking the dog. Husky, he's husky down the street. <laughs> Here's the Philip Morris uh, uniform. That's cool. Yep. That's oil. That's how they used to dress to like give you. Uh, Emily Motorola. Yep. Uh, Leclerc Motor Grocery. Now that's that. That's nice that they're keeping that local. Yeah. You know they kept that local, which is nice. Yeah. Hey, can we get this one? Junk in the trunk. <laughs> can we get that? I want it that bumper sticker. Yeah, Emily. But look, it's so roached out. Yes. Look at this. Is this the old uh, peanut or popcorn? Uh, Maybe peanut. It could be peanut, yeah. Yeah, peanut roaster. It's an old peanut roaster. Yes, it is. Yeah. I'm saying those. It's an old peanut roaster. 3900 This is the story of it. Which is nice that they write out stories of yeah, everything do. that they have here. Exactly. You know, because everything does have a story. <laughs> okay, very cool, huh? Okay, so what do you think, babe? It's cool. <laughs> I handed out a bunch of our business cards already. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Customers walking around. <laughs> hey, we need subscribers, right? Should hand out the staff here. Huh? Should hand out the staff here. <laughs> True. You can give some to them. All right. I'm gonna turn it off, and we're gonna go shopping and take some actual photos. Yep. Up there's the office. Yeah. Up there. That's the office up there. <laughs> All right, let's take some photos in here. Yep. That's the Elvis jacket that Denny picked up. Yeah. It's one of his collection, wasn't it? Yes. 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 Of course, he also bought uh, his uh, his CDs and stuff like, or DVDs or something like that, wasn't it? And this is the greatest saying. Two lanes, let people more life. Very cool. Yes. Very cool place. Yes. It's cool to see. From Leclerc, Iowa, we are on the bank of the Mississippi River, and this is the Mississippi paddle boats. And this is the Mississippi paddle boats. We're on the bank of the Mississippi River here in Iowa, and uh, you can see how wide and beautiful it is. And they have a nice little river walk and a nice little cute town. This is also the town with the antique archaeology.
right, folks, we're going to end our tour here with Leclerc today. Uh, we are standing outside the Buffalo Bill Museum. There's also a, a smaller museum attached fast to it that has a large uh, paddle wheel steamship in there. So, uh, hope you enjoyed our, our look around town here. We hit antique archaeology, we see Mississippi River, and we have some still pictures of Renee near Buffalo who did attack her. <laughs> that she wasn't afraid of. I, they don't know that I'm, a, they don't know this, but <laughs> Renee. There's a story behind it. We'll tell it later on. But it's a good story. Renee, well, go ahead, tell it now because you just started it. So, Renee, I am very deathly afraid of a buffalo. Well, what happened was we were at Trexler Game Preserve uh, in our first year of dating, I believe it was. We just started dating. Yeah. And I really contemplated not dating you anymore. That's because um, <laughs> we were at the Game Preserve and there's a large outdoor pen uh, of free roaming buffalo. And she went up to the fence. Ignoring my warning, because I read a sign that says, do not approach the fence. The sign there says, do not approach the fence. And what does Renee do? She approaches the fence, thinking, okay, the buffalo's at a little ways out. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna come get me. Well, it started walking closer, and she's taking pictures, and it walks closer and closer. And next thing you know, it snorted, kicked, and ran at the fence. Okay, no, let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you, not snorted, kicked, and ran. The thing charged me, yeah. okay? And his eyeball, his eyeball came like within inches of me and it was as big as your head the eyeball was as big as his head he was snorting at yeah. me so so she, i fell warnings, i fell backwards she did fall backwards screaming screaming and todd was sitting in the car laughing, laughing. yes laughing and because then you i know said why? you know why i read the sign that and said, <laughs> do not approach the fence and then i said to him I don't know if I can date you if I can't trust you to protect me. From a buffalo. Thousand pound animal. 250 pound guy at that point. Yeah, no. I'd, I'd have been laying next to her <laughs> on the ground. If it hadn't stopped a short of the fence that says, okay. do not approach the fence. So this has been a thing. For four years. For now. four years now. Yes. I am definitely afraid of buffalo. buffalo. Rightly so. Because they are not like big cows. No, they're not. They really, and they're not gentle. No, they're not. They are not, like, beautiful, calm animals. They're crazy, wild things. They're beautiful. And... When you don't approach them. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, anytime I get a chance to tease her about buffalo, she's getting teased about buffalo. And so, it's over there. Take a look at There's it. the buffalo. It's not going to charge her. I, I hate buffaloes. I mean, look at them. It looks like it's going to kill me. And that's only, like, a third of the size of the real one. This was, like, the size of the calf. But anyway, I'll, I'll approach it, okay? I'll even lean the buffalo here, okay? I do not like buffalo. But it's funny, though. If you I, look back, I'm in hindsight, terrified it's, it's of it. very funny. Well, I'm terrified of them. I know. So, when you see... Uh, here, here's, here's more advice from Todd and Renee, the rats. If you see a sign on the fence that says, do not approach, you may not want to approach. <laughs> All right? Whatever. That, piece of advice, folks. I'm going to say we're out of here. The sign was like three by five. It was so small. I saw it quite clearly. Big sign on... It wasn't big. Okay. It was... Okay, let's be realistic. It wasn't a big sign. It was a little sign. And it said... Do not approach the Yes, fence. it did. It did. I said it several times. I know. You don't listen. <laughs> also think of a great picture that she got. I did get a good picture. She did get a good picture. However, at what cost? I what cost? I fell. Anyhow, we're off from Leclerc now. We are heading up to the world's largest truck stop. We're gonna stop in there and take a look around. We're going to the world's largest yeah. truck stop yes, in Iowa. In Iowa, yes. On are. Route I eighty. I eighty. So, watch the next video, people, because that's where we're going. Yep. So, till then, see ya. Bye.